Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to some more Space Engineers on the Junkyard. Today I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. So I've been recording a 1440p 60fps, and my file sizes have been massive. So today I'm going to try 1080p 60fps. Uh, it should be roughly about the same quality settings. So it should overall look about the same for most people. But it should be a lot smaller of a file size for me. We'll have to uh, see. So last episode, it kind of ended kind of weird. I was on my way back and I ran out of disk space and it just ended and I wasn't, I didn't have the motivation anymore to continue on. So what am I wearing? What the heck? Weird. So I just continued on and got home and started tearing this apart. It is basically gone. I have a gyro and a seat and wheels and an O2 tank with some amount of O2 in it. I actually don't know how much we should look at that. It's 100% full. That's good to know. This still has its large hydrogen tank, so that plus that is actually going to be kind of nice. I have pretty much everything out of it here, though. And I have begun this. It is bright, shiny blue. Nice big flatbed back here. I'm probably going to be on the lookout for some more medium cargo containers to throw on back here. I got my bed on the side here. Nope. Cannot get up without using the wheels. Got conveyors going all the way back to here, but they do not connect into the cargo containers. The cargo containers are completely separate from this connector. And completely separate from the cockpits and engines here. I've got four battery, four large batteries and one small battery. Two gyros and a beacon. And I think it's ready to go. I need to get one power cell from somewhere. I use the power cell out of there to finish this battery one of these batteries on here but it should be well up and charged and ready to go off and I want to go out because there is something that I discovered yesterday is that gonna fit just barely okay medical components that is back there where it says medical components is actually I've yet to drive this thing, by the way, so it might not drive as well as I'm hoping. This is the first drive of this. Five, uh, uh, five by five wheel monstrosity. I use the slim ones. Six kilometers. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I use the slim ones to try and keep, or the slim small, I don't remember, but to try and keep it somewhat narrow. I think it did the job. I wanted to, I think there's nine small blocks in between the uh, suspensions. So I have a theoretical 11 block flatbed once all said and done. Plus I can go over the wheels if I need to, which gives me another, what, three each side, which would be 14, 17. 17 wide, plus that long. That's no, not going to be quite that long. I'm going to put at least one more set of medium cargos along the sides, if not a few more. I've already cleared this. I know it's I know it's safe, so we're gonna jump on in here. We've got these cargo or these cryo chambers. I need computers. Did I bring computers? I don't think I did. That could be a problem. So I've got a small cargo container here that I'm gonna throw on there. I've got this big battery too, but that's gonna be a whole another ball game for a whole another day hoping to somehow come across those computers without having to dig into this thing any, but I'm gonna have to, looks like. Yep, alright. Do you have computers? You have zero. Dang it. Oh well, worth a shot, right? Because there's nothing here. No. Alright, cool. Thank you, sir. I will be right back after I use your contents to take this over. Oh. I might just uh, undo everything I just did. Undo. Eh. 
Thanks, you're a doll. Well, the, on the bright side, I at least took control of this. Oh, there's four computers in there. That'll help. Oh, that, those are interior plates. Yikes. Alright, let's get this thing out of here and attached. There we are. For that, we are going to need weld pads. Which I did bring the parts for. Did I know I didn't? I didn't bring the well pads. All right. That. Do that. I don't want it. I'm gonna need computers though. That's gonna be an issue. And I didn't bring any computers. I didn't. Ah. Alright, can I take him from you? You have one. That's not gonna be of any service. You don't have any, you don't have any, you don't have any. You don't have any. Alright, well. I guess for now, you're just gonna come with me. Anything else back here I need? I can't really take this thing. Nor do I have the right kind of grinder to get into it at all. Really, no computers at all. Alright, well, it is what it is, I suppose. I'm gonna keep a marker here for medical components because they are still here. Otherwise, let's go take a look at some other stuff, shall we? I'm not going to that one. Seven kilometers is a long ways. We're out driving this thing, we're out test driving this thing. Let's see what it's capable of. Nice soft landing. Love to see it. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Bring the strength up to A. Let's go up to 10 for now. Steering angle. We're going to bring that down to 15 for now. We'll kind of play with that speed limit. We're going to move up to like 260. 59 will work. See what that lets us do. 65. Am I comfortable with that speed? That's the next question. I think 65 in this vehicle, I'm probably comfortable with. I'll probably slow down for night driving like this. That's kind of a cool view, isn't it? Especially when I start coming over uh, big old hills like this one. Because I could very quickly become a negative. Why is it getting dusty? Oh, I'm in a storm. Look at that. Turn it around. I wonder if I can go down here. Looking kind of promising so far. I think I've actually been down here. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like I have come down that way before. Even if I have, it's still nice to know that it was relatively easy. That's the kind of hole that does not let things end up nice. Will you let me sleep through this? It's daytime and I don't need- I need to sleep, what do you mean? I don't like that design. I really like this new cockpit from the DLC, it's... It's smooth, it's sleek. It's also truck-like. Just think it's nice. I appreciate a nice cockpit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's capable. That's what we were looking for. It's a nice capability to start traversing some terrain. Just look at that flight. 
airshock still on, isn't it? Let's get that turned off right away. That's just a personal preference thing. I personally don't like shock. I know some people that do. Take it or leave it. I just find I have a long history of bad experiences with the air shock, and I see some buildings. I don't know if I've been to them yet, but we are going to find out together. Stay away from that building. Could be rigged. Wait, where am I? Jesus. I'm starting to think it's rigged. Lots of small batteries. No, no alarm. Was I already here? I think I was already here. Inset light, batteries. All conveyors, buttons, more buttons, more buttons. Yeah, I think I was already here. Which means I was able to get down here with my previous rover. Nothing here for me. Move it on. Excuse me. What? I don't want to fly. Will you let me sleep now? You will. Wonderbar. I love being able to sleep. I love being able to sleep. Alright. And day time should be coming. Get back in the cockpit and let's move on, shall we? Got an unknown signal up that way. All right, let's try and go over this terrain here. Pardon me. Large hydro thrust is that way, which I would like to get. And I think that's why I brought the steel plates I did. I think I wanted to build a ramp to drag something like that onto. I think that'd be kind of cool. I think I can get up this path right here, especially if we gun it a little bit, but not too much, not too much. Slow it down for this portion, and gun it! Perfect. Easy. I may as well take a look at this uh, unknown signal here while we're up here. Easiest driving I've done. What do we get? We get cow boots! Yay! I love cow boots. It's a lie. I actually don't like cow boots like at all. I love my tier three grinder though. What did I get from that? I don't need you. Got some computers. That's nice. Put those in there. And let's. Get on our way, shall we? Let's head it up towards that large uh, hydro thruster. Okay. So I don't have the clearance I thought I did. Which means I might still want to do a... Uh, a uh, large grid. I do have that uh, bridge marked that we might use to build, to put wheels onto to build a, uh, a, a large grid rover. There we go. I cannot think with my brain today, and I'm not sure what that says about me, but here we are. I'm going to turn the power down these wheels down to 40. Oh, it's really smooth up here. It's wind turbine. That's other random nonsense over there. Go we'll take a look at this wind turbine. I don't know if I've been up here. I don't know if it's worth looking at. But we're going to go take a look at this building. Up on this plateau. What do we got? 
I've been here. Yep, I've been here. Looted that sucker. Oh, this is really smooth up here, Jeebus. I see you. Oh yeah. I'm glad I finally got back up here. I don't remember being up here. Uh, I don't remember very well being up here. I do know I have been up here. Is there anything in this one? Did I already take it? I think I already took it. Something here sounds like a thruster though. What is that? Weird. That's so weird. Legitimately sounds like there's a thruster in here. It only really occurs to me I could have used those. Whatever. Alright. Basically straight up. Oh, there's a. Did I know that was over there? We're gonna find out. That's for sure. There's always a chance I might have something good in it, even if I knew it was already there. Uh, it's been so long. I don't remember where I've been and where I haven't been. It's kind of a shame. It does mean I get to experience some of this stuff again. Which I think is one of the more fun parts of a... a <gasps> no! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no. kilometers away and I'd no longer have a working vehicle or a battery to make a working vehicle what is with all these weird noises coming from this game right now oh that thing is dead there's no way it survives. It wasn't ready for anything, something like that. Oh no. Oh my good tools. Oh, I wasn't ready. This is so bad. This is so bad. Oh, I hope I can get there. I'm gonna see if I can get back there and I'll be back. So this is actually driving really well with just a single solar panel on top of it. I am flooring it straight over here. Basically as quick as I can. I'm starting to get into some less than ideal terrain. The beacon's still up, which is good news right now. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get there, though. That's going to be the problem. Oh, it's going to be in such bad shape. Oh, I can't. I can't believe I let it do that. I can't believe I did that. Ah, oh, it's so bad. What was I? Th thinking what was I thinking guys oh oh god 1.7 away I need to come up from the side, let this car, let this truck pass in front of it, try and pull some fire, and see, oh no, smoke, and see if I can get under it. It's not firing anymore.
No, my body just disappeared. Oh, I'm gonna call bullshit on that. My tools. That was my tools. salty right now. Worst part is I know damn well it was my own fault. <sighs> is that all the damage I took? That's all the damage I took? No way. <gasps> there it is. Lost that car in the container. Okay. I can live with that. Two and one battery. Alright, I lost the car container and one battery. That does actually hurt. But I've got a replacement for the car container already, so it's not a big deal. I'll live. I need to get it hooked up like ASAP, but I'll need to find computers before I can do that. You're gonna die. Or are you? I hate that. Oh, that is so depressing. Okay, there used to be a car container in this thing, or what's going on here? <clears throat> Why did they have an AI control module on it? That's weird. That's very weird. Sorry if I seem a little uh, down and out right now. That was not my best moment. Now I suppose all I can do now is just try and get this stuff out of here. Full. Uh, you know what? Let's just move on to that hydro thruster truck and see what we can find there. After I connect this thing up to that, probably gonna merge block it. 
excuse me. Yes, I know I need steel plates. Thank you. At least I can say it wasn't lightning that took me out. I guess. There's two merch blocks. nothing here I can take, huh? This whole place is... I'm gonna grab those solar cells. I don't want to haul the bad at the whole panels back, but I'm gonna grab the cells. Maybe. It's gonna take forever without my good grinder, but whatever. It is what it is at this point. Just means I have to go... I'm gonna have to go exploring for, uh... a new set of grinders. Let's go see. Oh, no. Oh, imagine if I died there. Oh, how upset I would have been. Alright, let's move on. Yeah. And I mean, absolutely no offense by this, but. It's weird. Must have been like a block or something. Drop the strength by like eight all around. Let's just bring the an angle than like five on all wheels. See if that lets me drive. It seems to. Okay, we'll do that. I just want to get this thing back. That's all I care about at this point. I want to go over here, try and get this large hydrogen thruster on here. I'll take the truck at this point. I don't care. I will put a piston or a a hinge on this thing and bring the truck home with me. The solar panel is actually adding a lot of juice to this thing and I'm thoroughly impressed by it. Alright, I'll see you when I get there. Alright, just came out of the storm, and I'm coming up on it here. Now, I know this is cleared out. I've been here, I've looked at it. I'm so upset. That's why. Okay. Well, let's cut away the body from under, I suppose. It's gonna be the only way that really makes sense here.
I don't actually know how heavy this thing is going to be. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it's not too heavy. clear oh geez you're light okay you're you you exist guess I wouldn't say you're light but you definitely exist I wonder is there a way I can do it this way I can cheese it a little bit No, okay. No, oh, come on, stop it. Stop it. Get up there. Okay. Kind of the position I was hoping to get it into. to just kind of flip it over these. Let's see what that can do for us here. Come on, let me up there. Come on, roll it. Oh, almost had it. That should be low enough. Every couple of blocks I can get it up will be helpful. And we're up. I can't believe that worked. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm very glad it worked, but... I really almost can't believe it did. Huh. I suddenly know what that block was that went flying. Uh, it was that cargo container. I'd like to get you guys. Let's just get home with this. At least we'll get, at least we'll bring something home. <coughs> I can probably get rid of that uh, GPS now. That was with this one. Yeah. I wonder if that's. Uh, Large gear or small gear survival kit. How far away are we from that? Oh. As it is under the planet, that's trash. That one's probably doable. I think I actually have been to that one before. So we got small grid, large cargo. No, oh, that one's. These are all from a previous try that I did originally. That didn't work out. Large grid, cargo box. Any other 
there's another structure over there, but I'm gonna have to travel a long ways now to find anything new worth, uh, worth looting. And that's what this larger grid is for. And in an ideal world, I can run this large thruster to get myself going. In, to get myself over chasms. That's the idea, at least. Whether or not that's going to work out, I don't know. But that is the idea. What is that? Oh, is that a helicopter? I remember that. Yep. There wasn't much to it, but it was there. Alright, folks. I'm going to head home. We'll call it here, though. Thank you all so very much for watching. Sorry, it was a bit of a gloomy episode. I am so mad at myself. I'm glad I didn't lose the vehicle. But I did lose my tools. And that's a big deal at the end of the day. I did lose a car, uh, two car containers, actually, in the whole ordeal. But it is what it is. Thank you all so very, so very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Until then, as always, enjoy trains. Take it easy, and goodbye.